Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace a set of disc rotors and brake pads on a 2004 Camry. Now this is a four cylinder model but the V6 is pretty much the same. Now as you can see down here I've gone ahead and removed the wheel. Now I undo the brake line just to give you a bit more room when you move the caliper out the way as you can see there that bolt needs to be removed it's a 12 mil and there's 17 mil for the actual caliper and as you can see the screwdriver in here now what I do with that instead of going out and buying special tools to push the piston back all you do is just grab here and just pull it gently forward so the pads push the piston back now on the other side I've gone ahead and stripped it all so I'll just take you around there and here we have the stripped version where I have removed the caliper line and the caliper I'm just gonna have to try and work with one hand here and I just slowly tuck it behind or just let it gently it's long enough to touch the ground so you can gently put it aside and the disc rotor just comes off like that so easy now when we go over to the new parts as you can see it's got the new parts here now be sure to clean the new disc with some brake parts cleaner to get all the excess grease off now I'll just be pausing you and I'll come back to it when I start fitting it again now back to here um, I've replaced the new disc and the brake pads are just so simple just make sure some of them got clips sorry some of them got clips on them and make sure you put them in the right spot they're pretty much easy to do once your pistons pushed back in you just get virtually just get your brake pad it's a bit hard working with one hand but you virtually just get your brake pad and you push them back into their spot just so like that simple and the same with the other side but I'll have to put this down while I put it together and I'll be back okay now we're back with that we put the pads in and as simple as just reversing what you've done to install it again now it's caliper goes on here as I said it's a bit hard to work with one hand and you just put your bolts back in and do the same to the other side now also with the screwdriver trick as you push the pistons back just make sure that your brake fluid doesn't overflow I advise you to do one side at a time and once you've finished one side just make sure you pump the pedals very slowly so the fluid goes back into the pistons before you push the other one back I'll come back to you when it's assembled okay now we're back I've got all the bolts back in and I'll just show you I can work with the other hand I'm just tighten up these brake hose virtually goes back in the same spot pretty easy and then you'll have the caliper bolts which tighten up and there is a spec for that it's about 75 Newton meters and we just tighten them up and the bottom one as well which is a bit tricky to find I'm actually doing an oil change at the same time. There you have. 
the other bolt here. Oh, by the way, I've pre um, I've put Loctite on those bolts. Forgot to show you, but anyway, that's how you fit brake pads and a disc rotor to a Camry. Pretty much all cars are the same, just a different process. Thanks for watching.